This is a box of Mexican SpongeBob popsicles. Okay, I know what you're thinking, Brent. What are you talking about? Well, they're kind of like Mexican SpongeBob popsicles. Let me explain. Most of you know me for trying to find a perfect SpongeBob popsicle because SpongeBob popsicles never look like they do on the wrapper. So after doing that series in 2021, a few years later, my good friend Horchata Soto decided to make a video and it caught my attention. And let's just say the video reminded me of something I once did. World's biggest catfish. These are called paleta payasos. It's a clown lollipop that I loved eating as a kid. Okay. Oh, and if you know, you know. These look absolutely nothing like how you would expect. Oh. I remember the first time opening one as a kid. And instead of getting a cute clown shaped lollipop, this is what you really get. Wait, what? But don't get me wrong, they taste pretty good. But half of the time, they're all broken up and don't even look like the ones advertised. Uh, so speaking of, let's check out the one that I bought for this video. There's already chocolate falling off. And... That looks really bad. Imagine finding a perfect one of these. This would be impossible. It may be impossible. But guess who found a perfect SpongeBob popsicle, Jorge? Me! And I gotta say, the idea of trying to find a perfect paleta payaso is so original. And look, any of my Hispanic viewers that are saying, Brent, you're saying that wrong. My good friend Raul was voice coaching me last night, making sure that I pronounce it correctly. Paleta payaso. Paleta payaso. I think I'm good at it. Jorge is going on and on and on and on with this series. He's milking this Paleta series like Brent TV milks the SpongeBob Popsicle series. And the funny thing is he hasn't found a perfect one yet. So I've had enough. I want to be the first YouTuber to find a perfect Paleta Payaso. So what I did was buy an entire case of these Paleta Payasos. I, I, I think I'm saying it right. Guys, at least I'm doing it like a seven out of 10. I'm pretty good at it. So with these, as you saw in Jorge's video, they are supposed to look like this right here on the box. This cute little chocolate marshmallow man. On the box, we got this clown, okay? I don't know why. What does the clown have to do with anything? Doesn't make any sense, right? So I want to be the first YouTuber to find a perfect paleta payaso. So as you see, this is what they're supposed to look like. It's a chocolate covered marshmallow with two eyes and a mouth. And I think those are kind of like a Sour Patch Kid type deal. And the problem is most times they are never centered. The chocolate sometimes is cracking and it's very hard to find a perfect one, which is why we're here. So let's get started. Oh my gosh. Here we go with number one. Chocolate just fell out and landed on the floor. Yeah, this is not gonna be good. Oh my gosh! What on earth is this? Okay, so as you see, this is not even close to being a perfect one. The face is completely crooked. The chocolate is falling off. This is a horrible mess. It's a disgrace. How on earth are we gonna get a perfect one in this if this is what they look like? Let's at least see how it tastes. It tasted exactly how you'd expect a chocolate covered marshmallow to taste like. And obviously I'm not gonna be eating all of these in this video. I'm gonna put them back in their diapers if they're not perfect and I'll give them away to Paleta Payaso fans. Here we go, this is number two. This one does not feel broken, okay. Here we go. Oh no, it is, it's, it, it's shedding. Why? Oh my gosh, what is going on? <gasps> Why are they so stupid looking? Not only does it have to have a perfect face, it can't be cracked anywhere, and every single one of these is cracked. <laughs> okay, well, I guess this one's going back in its diaper. God, horrible. Dang it. Maybe I won't be able to find a perfect one. I mean, is it even possible? Tie this one back up, and we'll give it to someone who doesn't deserve a perfect one. I can hear the crumbles. You just hear so many chocolate paleta crumbs in there. I thought I had a bone to pick with Popsicle for getting rid of the gumball eyes and putting chocolate. I have a bone to pick with these guys. I mean, how hard is it to make a chocolate covered marshmallow? Here we go, ready? Look at this. Watch the crumbles just fall from the bag. Every single, look, look at that, look at that. What is, what is going on? Chocolate is falling everywhere. Look at this disgrace. What is that? Just horrible. I mean, what on earth is that? Look at the eye! Ew! Swollen and nasty. Guys, this eye is like... <laughs> wow! Chocolate just flew off of him when I did that. These are rough. These are really rough. Ugh. This is a disgrace to Mexico. I mean, they deserve better paleta payasos. I mean, this is horrible. Here we go with another. Boy, am I excited. And they're just chocolate crumbs falling out of the bag every time. Oh my 
gosh, this is horrible. Look at that. That is a disgrace. I don't even, I think this may be worse than SpongeBob popsicles. How do they mess it up that bad? Look at this thing's eye. Oh my gosh, what on earth is this thing? I mean, it doesn't even look remotely close to what they promote on the box. Well, to be fair on the box, they show a giant clown and this is what's in the wrapper. I'm not even joking. You have to set up a tarp on the ground before you open one of these. This is like the most fragile thing I've ever opened. How on earth are we gonna find a perfect one? These are so rough. Come on, why do they look like that? Am I gonna be known as the Paletta Payaso guy? Kids are gonna come up to me in public and be like, you know what? You were the SpongeBob Pop School guy, but now you're the Paletta Payaso guy. Oh my God, every one of these sheds this is disgusting! It's not even close! Like, these are not even remotely close. This mouth is completely derpy. And it's cracked everywhere. Chocolate all over my floor! Ah! What is this? Oh, uh, this was a bad idea. Jorge, you can keep this series. I don't even want it. Actually, I do. You stole this idea from me! I'm gonna be the first one to find a perfect Palazzo Payaso. I'm gonna beat you to it. 911, what's your emergency? Yeah, I hear my neighbor screaming. I think he's fighting with someone named Paletta. I have five more of these left. If this is perfect, I will be so happy because we will be done with this. But every single one of these is cracked. Look, ready? Oh my gosh! Uh, uh, actually getting so mad right now. Imagine a million of these old chocolate flakes just falling all over your, your floor. You folks at home, you can tell me. Does this look perfect? I'll tell you one thing, it is not perfect! Since I bought 10 of these palettas, if you want me to try to find a perfect one, let's get 10 likes on the video. Wow, these are awful. These are like the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I honestly feel like this is going to be the perfect one. You know when you just have a feeling? This is that feeling. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ah! What on earth is that? Why do they look this bad? Disgrace! I can't even throw you because if I do, there's chocolate everywhere and then I'm a food waster and you know. Ah! How on earth are they this bad, guys? How are they this bad? Why are people buying these? It's a marshmallow. Back in your paletta diaper. This is a mess. Three more. Let me guess, it's gonna be shattered and disgusting. It's impossible to avoid it. I am opening every single one of these above the box and the chocolate is just going everywhere. Oh my gosh. What on earth is this? Completely shattered everywhere. I mean, how is it this bad? Ugh. These are all a big disgrace. This one actually doesn't seem shattered. Oh, I hear crumbles. Just when I thought we did it. And you hear a couple crumbs in there and it's like, great, wonderful. I love it. I love palettas. Oh my God. Why is there a clown on it? Oh yeah, here we go. Oh my gosh. This chocolate is falling everywhere. Gosh, I have to open these outside in the grass or something. Oh yeah, there we go, that's a good looking one. Thank you, Mexico. Nothing against Mexico, but come on, man. This is depressing. Dang it! Ugh, get in your diaper. We are down to the last Paleta Payaso and hopefully it's perfect because this isn't even a percent of the chocolate that has fallen everywhere. Please be perfect and we can just rub it into Jorge and he'll be mad at me because I found a perfect one and I won't have to buy any more of these and then we can be done with the series and the chocolate won't stain anything else in this room, please! Come on, why is it all cracked and broken? Oh my gosh. Yep, that is a perfect Paletta Payaso. Wonderful, great, woohoo, yay, I love these. Yeah! Stay down there. How on earth do they look this horrible? They're all cracked and broken, have the derpiest face. I mean, what is going on? Uh, oh my gosh, I almost just dropped the box of chocolate shatters everywhere. Well, everyone, that's gonna do for today's video. If you enjoyed it and you want me to open more of these Paletta Payasos, let's get 12 likes. So I originally said 10, but I think 12's more doable. And I will open more of these and try to find a perfect one. I wanna be the first YouTuber to find a perfect Paletta Payaso. Feel free to subscribe. We got some breaking news. It is free to subscribe to any YouTube channel, so you might as well do it. Click it now.
Thank you. Drop a follow on my Instagram at Brent Television, and I got merchandise at www.brenttelevision.com. Thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone. Brent TV, Brent TV, Brent TV has a video for me. Yeah. Brent TV, Brent TV, Brent TV has a video for me. Oh, now he's opening a popsicle, he's opening a toy. Say hello.